Thanks for staying with us. Now we have some important breaking news coming in as far as India's uh, aid to Palestine is concerned. A Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson Arindam Bakshi tweeted out to uh, the detail of the humanitarian aid that India has provided to Palestine. An IAF C-17 flight carrying nearly 6.5 tons of medical aid and 32 tons of disaster relief material for the Pal uh, people of Palestine departs for El Arish Airport in Egypt. The material includes essential life-saving medicines, surgical items, uh, tents, sleeping bags, tarpaulins, uh, sanitary utilities, uh, water purification tablets, among other necessary items. We'll get, get you more details on that as well. But right now, what we are learning is that MES spokesperson Arindam Bakshi has tweeted out the details of the humanitarian aid that has been provided by India and has been sent to the Palestine. We have CNN News 18's Abhishek Jha joining us on the broadcast. Abhishek, could you give us more details about what exactly did MEA spokesperson say and tell about the aid that has been provided by India to Palestine? Well, it was uh, being talked uh, actually for uh, for like few days now that India will be soon sending a humanitarian aid uh, to Palestinian people in Gaza. In fact, Prime Minister Modi had a couple of days ago uh, talked to President uh, Mahmoud Abbas as well, uh, where he had expressed his condolences and grief over the killing of uh, hundreds and thousands of innocent people uh, in uh, Gaza, especially uh, the, the, the one rocket which had fell on a, on a hospital killing about 500 people or more than that. Uh, so in, in that uh, context, Prime Minister had a conversation with Pramod Abbas and since then it was being believed that India is also going to send humanitarian aid. We know the crisis for about 2 million Palestinian people living in Gaza has been unimaginable. Uh, the, the, the essential supplies of medicine, food, water, fuel, everything is running dry. A uh, lot of humanitarian aid has come from across the world which are waiting at the Egyptian border. Uh, the aid that India has sent, that also includes entry, uh, you know, utilities, uh, food supplies, medicine supplies, and sanitation uh, equipment and uh, water. So these will also be sent to people across the, the border in Gaza and probably uh, in, in the unimaginable pain that they are currently suffering. This will be some sort of relief or respite that the people of Palestinians will have from the Indian government side. Right, Abhishek. Thank you so much for bringing in all those crucial details. We'll keep coming back to you for more updates. Uh, and we have a reaction coming in from IDF spokesperson Jonathan Conricus as well. Let's take a look at that. The border between Israel and Lebanon, Rosh Anikra in the west, and about 120 kilometers or 80 miles all the way up to the triangle of borders between Israel, Syria, and Lebanon, which is around this area. What Hezbollah has been doing over the last uh, days is to escalate the situation. Hezbollah has been attacking Israeli positions. For instance, massive anti-tank fire towards Israeli military positions here and here in these areas, as well as anti-tank fire towards communities like this community here, and a kibbutz in this area here. Unfortunately, there have been both civilian and military casualties as a result of Hezbollah fire. 